Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Community Calendar. I'm Mallory Sullivan with Los Al TV. Let's get started. First up, the City of Los Alamitos General Municipal Election will be held on Tuesday, November 8th for two council seats. Visit ocvote.com to find your exact polling place. The Seal Beach Chamber of Commerce and The Sun newspaper are hosting the 2016 Seal Beach City Council Candidates Forum on Friday, November 4th at the Marina Vista Community Center. Learn the issues and meet the candidates starting at 5.30 p.m. with a networking mixer to follow. Let's take a look at some local events happening in the area. To start things off, the Assistance League of Long Beach is hosting its annual Holiday Gift Boutique on November 3rd and 4th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Get started on your Christmas shopping early from their unique vendors with a variety of fun items to stock up on just about anything you'll need this holiday season. The Los Alamitos Chamber of Commerce will host its monthly networking breakfast on Sunday, November 6th at Griffin's Grill. Each breakfast provides members with the opportunity to network, promote their businesses, and establish relationships with other local business leaders to come together in an effort to strengthen our business community. Also, the Seal Beach Chamber of Commerce will host its own networking breakfast the following Thursday, November 10th at the Old Ranch Country Club. Sign up now at sealbeachchamber.org. The Los Alamitos Museum is hosting its third annual quilt, collectible, and antique show on Sunday, November 6th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you're a collector, a quilter, or lover of antiques, this is a must-attend event. The Rossmore Homeowners Association is hosting their November Town Hall Conversation on Tuesday, November 15th at Rossmore Park with a guest speaker from the California Highway Patrol who will highlight the CHP and how they serve Rossmore. The conversation starts at 7 p.m. The St. Isidore Historical Plaza is hosting its annual tamale workshop on Saturday, November 19th. Learn how to make traditional and delicious Mexican tamales and take home your very own dozen. It's not too late to get your tickets on their website. Lastly, don't forget to switch your clocks back and enjoy one extra hour of sleep on Daylight Savings Time this Sunday, November 6th. Our restaurant of the week is Kanpai Sushi House in Los Alamitos. The food is always great quality with friendly service to match. Their happy hour, which runs from 3 to 6 every day, features a wide variety of delicious sushi rolls, beer, and appetizers sure to satisfy your hunger. And our business of the week is Gloss Salon and Studio. This cute salon tucked away in Center Plaza in Los Alamitos never disappoints and always stays busy. Owner Amy Wheaton has put together an amazing staff of friendly and talented hairstylists sure to leave you looking fabulous. For first time clients, you can get a $25 blowout or 20% off your first service if you mention Low Sal TV. So be sure to book your appointment by calling 562-430-1717. Hey, this is Jesus Ruiz, the editor of the News Enterprise. In today's headlines, we have Schools Celebrate Red Ribbon Week. The best of Los Alamitos winners are crowned. In our opinion page, residents respond to Cypress City Council member John Pete's letter, and a resident analyzes the effects of rezoning the Los Alamitos racetrack. Also, have a coffee with a cop tomorrow, and read about the Youth Center's after school program. Hi, I'm Dixie Redfern, the editor of the Sun newspaper. In this week's Sun, we have a story about the new beach playground, often referred to as the Tot Lot. And that was unveiled on Halloween when a little child dressed as Batman became one of the first children to play on it. The city also has gotten new trash cans, the Big Belly. These oversized trash cans compact the trash so they hold about 10 times as much. And they also um, send a GPS to the city when they need to be emptied. We also have a few lively letters to the editor, which is one of our most well-read sections. And you can find out everything that's happening in Seal Beach if you read The Sun. And that's it for this edition of Community Calendar. I'm Mallory Sullivan with LoSal TV. And don't forget, if you have an event to promote, you can email us at rlosaltv at gmail.com or click our Facebook links at losaltv.com. Thank you for watching.